So hello everyone, welcome to this edition of Intellect's webinar series. So our webinar today is entitled Eliminating the Top 5 HSE and Quality Risks in Oil and Gas. And facilitating our webinar today will be Ethan Cushing and Steve Buffett. Now Ethan and Steve are both solution specialists for oil and gas here at Intellect's and they've helped dozens of organizations implement software tools to manage their HSE and quality data and processes across their business. So today, Ethan and Steve are going to be outlining the five major HSE and quality risks in the oil and gas industry for us, and they're going to provide us with some strategies for eliminating them. So on that note, I'm going to hand it over to Ethan and Steve, and we can get started. Thanks, JP. Uh, welcome, everyone. Thank you very much uh, for taking the time uh, this afternoon to be able to attend this webinar. Um, my name is Steve. And I'm Ethan. And like JP said, we work on the oil and gas team here at Intellex. Uh, we've been working on the same team for the past four years, uh, and we're very happy to be able to have everyone here. So uh, to kind of get things started, I mean, obviously we're here today to talk about the top five HSC and quality risks that, that we hear about on a daily basis uh, in the oil and gas industry. And what we're here to be able to accomplish, or at least help accomplish, is to be able to help everybody on the call uh, to be able to help eliminate those risks. So, uh, I'm just going to go to my next slide here. Uh, for an agenda, it's a very uh, open, light-ended agenda today. We, we really want to be able to use a, a theme when it comes to our webinar today is, is to be able to talk about the Intellect's Unified Platform to be able to help organizations, again, eliminate those top five risks. Uh, where we'll, we'll go through uh, the top five that we come across. We'll talk about how the Intellect solution is there to be able to help mitigate those risks. We'll summarize the whole presentation. We'll, we'll kind of touch lightly on a little bit about Intellects. And just like JP had mentioned, uh, we'll be able to open up towards the end uh, with some questions. Uh, and we'll move right along to be able to give you an idea on more of a, a top five David Letterman list. Now we're going to keep things in a little bit of suspense and uh, you're not really sure which is number one and which is number five, but of all the people that Ethan and I talk to, again, on a daily basis, tracking your non-conformances, your permits, legal requirements, managing your suppliers, vendors, managing incidences, as well as audits and inspections are our top five. So why don't we start with number five? Thanks, Steve. So when we talk to people, we, as Steve said, we hear a lot of common concerns within the industry, and it becomes a question of how do you resolve those and, and how can intellects help? So when it comes to non-conformance tracking, some of the biggest things we see more than anything is people that identify a non-conformance or something wrong in their business and they don't fix it. Because when once you identify something, and if you don't fix it upon an audit, that's liability. And we need to make sure that if you do find something that's wrong, that you've got a strategy in place to resolve it and eliminate that. So how do you do that? Well, one of the things we hear regularly is, well, I don't have a root cause tracking system. Absolutely. I don't have a process to do this. I, I don't have a common way that's right across all of my, my wells or my plants or my facilities, whatever it is. So they don't have those tools. And even if you, you are able to resolve this, in a lot of cases, you've got those follow-up items that, that you tag and, and assign out to people, but they're falling through the cracks. There's no reminders coming out about them. So we've identified the issue, maybe you've even figured out the cause, but if we're not following up on them, then we're not actually fixing them. So we hear this a lot, and some of the ways that we'll review those issues from an intellect side is something to think about from a management system you want to make sure that your corrective actions are linked to the issue. That they're visible for reporting, that they're there in real time. They're not just free-floating actions that get assigned. You can look at that non-conformance and be able to see the actions assigned to it. Intellex actually has some causal tools built right into it. Your standard tools like a 5Y, checklists, fishbone diagrams, common tools in the industry that people will use to find out the causal issues that have occurred. And ultimately, if something does fall through the cracks, to have some type of escalation. Have the system automatically send out reminders. And what we wanted to talk about is kind of how that looks. 